Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a chatty get to know me video. I've been on here for over a year now and I realised it's something that I've not done. I've watched quite a few of these on YouTube and I thought it was quite good fun to do. And I've just grabbed a load of questions that I Googled um, and I thought I'd give it a go. So let's do it, shall we? So the first question is, who are you? So my name is Laura. I am a stay at home mum of two. I have a boy and a girl and I am married to my husband Lee. We have been together for around 18 years now but we've only been married for, it will be five this year. So yeah, we've been together quite a while but only married for five. Um, I live in the UK and we are in the East Midlands, um, probably half an hour from Nottingham and 20 minutes maybe from Sherwood Forest which is the infamous Sherwood Forest where Robin Hood lives so that's quite a fun fact, my kids do love to go there. So I've been a stay at home mum now for 12 years and I absolutely love it and truth be told I'm not away from my kids very often. To get a little bit of separation anxiety if I am um, and probably in those 12 years I would say me and my husband have been out on a night out maybe twice because he's pretty much the same as me we don't really enjoy leaving the kids we feel guilty and obviously we want to be with them and let's face it they're not going to be little for long my son is 12 my daughter is 8 probably going on 12 um, so I don't feel like we've got that many more years where they're actually going to want to spend the night with us so I'm going to soak it all up uh, because I absolutely love it and there's plenty of time for that once they're grown up so it's not a sacrifice yeah we, uh, we are very very rare away from our kids. So the next question is if you could live anywhere else in the world where would it be and for me it would definitely have to be sunny and it would have to be warm um, so maybe Australia never been to Australia or maybe Dubai um, me and my husband went to Dubai quite a few years ago um, so yeah it would have to be hot my husband does prefer it warm but he'd probably be quite happy in a cold country but for me Australia or Dubai so what makes you happy now for me it genuinely is the simple things um, so a cup of tea in the morning um, a family day just going out with my kids and my husband and um, maybe a movie in the evening so pretty pretty simple basic stuff but that is what makes me the most happy but the next one is what is your biggest fear and my biggest fear I had a dream many years ago where I looked in the mirror and all my teeth fell out they just went ping 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 and landed on the floor I was absolutely horrified and that has stayed with me ever since so my biggest fear is my teeth falling out losing all of my teeth be absolutely mortified so the next one is my most embarrassing moment now this has got to be when I was probably about 12 years old and I was walking to school and I got my skirt on and I got my backpack on and I walked all the way now I used to walk it was probably about 15 minutes but I used to walk into town so my school was right right in the middle of town um, so we did the walk with my friends and I walked through the playground and one of the boys, he was a joker, he was really funny and he said to me, Laura, do you know that your skirt is up at the back and your bum is completely on show? So I kind of felt around and literally I could just feel my bum cheek. So what happened, I was mortified, what had happened was, and girls this is a warning to you, because clearly it can happen and it did happen to me. I've been walking along and my backpack on my back had been sort of moving up and down and it hoiked my skirt up all the way round my waist. So I walked into the playground, had absolutely no idea and my whole bum was on a show. I was kind of dreading it because I say this boy was a joker. He was like the class clown. He's gonna tell everybody and I'm gonna be like the butt of the jokes, literally the butt of the joke. However, he never mentioned another word. I never mentioned a word and nobody ever said anything to me. So maybe he was like quite the gent and never said anything. Or maybe he did and everybody was just laughing at my bum behind my back and I never knew, but that was pretty embarrassing. And as I say, I think it was about 12, so I went to middle school. I was I was almost ready for going to secondary. We, we went quite late, but how embarrassing is an almost teenage girl 
anyway. If you can top that, let me know in the comments down below because I think that is pretty embarrassing to be honest for a young girl, but there we go. So the next question is, do I have any weird talents or skills? Um, and I can eat a kiwi with the skin on. Now, to be quite honest, it's not that I can. I actually do. I didn't realise that this wasn't the norm until I met my husband and he couldn't actually believe that I was eating the furry skin. So that's just the way I eat them. It's my favourite. I would never cut it off. That is criminal to cut it off. Just eat the fluffy skin. So if you could choose your own name, what would you choose? And I've always said this, I would call myself Sophia. I don't know why, I just like it. Or maybe Daisy, but I do feel that I'm probably far too young for any of those names, but they would be my dream names. I think they're cute, I think they're girly, I think they're nice. So, Sophia or Daisy. And the next question is, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Now, in 10 years time, my son will be 22. My daughter will be 18, so they may still be with us, they may still be at home because let's face it, how young kids these days, or young adults should I say, can afford to move out is like mind blowing. So they may still be with us. If not, I really, really hope that they'll be off to university and then go traveling, travel the world. That's not anything I did or my husband ever did, so I really, really want them to have those opportunities. And for myself, um, I'm hoping to still be here with you guys and that this channel may have grown. And I would also love to have my own business, maybe run it from home. Um, that's something that I've always wanted to do and that might be something that I do in the future. Um, my husband has an old car in the garage that he's currently restoring, so I'm sure he's probably going to be working on that or will have sold that one and got another project along the way. But yes, 10 years time, I will be 52. So, you know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a lot older than I am now, put it that way. But I just want to be happy, I want my kids to be happy. I wanna be here on YouTube. And I just wanna be doing my hobbies and enjoying life. I would also love for my husband to retire early because I would love to spend some more time with him. So that would be a nice goal to have in 10 years time. My husband be retired, him be at home with me. And we're just, hopefully living our life. The next question is, do you want any more children? Now, a couple of years ago, I would probably have said, absolutely not, we are done. However, just recently, me and my husband have been kind of thinking, Ooh, would you like another one? And, and we kind of both said yes, we kind of both said yes, because I'm getting to a stage now where mine are sort of so big in comparison that you kind of miss that baby stage. However, I just, that's not gonna happen. In all honesty, we are not gonna have another one because one, we don't have the room. Our kids now have their own room because we extended the house. And we don't wanna move because we're really happy here. And I'm actually probably too old. I am 42 this year. So no, absolutely not. Sadly, um, we would love another one, um, but it's just not practical. And I think we are done. And to be quite honest, I'm not sure I could split myself in terms of the, the different age ranges. I'm not sure I could actually split myself to give them all the attention that they deserve. So the answer is no to that one. So the next one is bucket list destinations. Now, I have so many. I feel like we've spent years and years doing our house up and saving money as you do and obviously buying all the things that your children need. So we've not done much traveling at all really. I've got a few travel videos on here, but in terms of the world, I feel like we've not, we've not even scratched the surface. So my first one would be the Maldives. That's my dream destination. I wanna to go to the Maldives one day and I wanna lay on that beach and soak it all up. So the Maldives, Hawaii, I would absolutely love to go to Hawaii, that is on my list. Vietnam, I keep watching videos of people exploring Vietnam and it just looks absolutely amazing and the culture and the people. So Vietnam is definitely on my list. And the Dominican Republic, I would love to renew our wedding vows when we hit our 10 year anniversary, which will be 2029. Um, and I would maybe love to do it somewhere in the Dominican um, because I know it's only 10 years, but why would you not celebrate 10 years? I think that's quite amazing. So I would love to renew my vows on the beach in the Dominican Republic. If I had to pick a cold one, now I'm not a cold weather girl at all, 
but I would love to go to Canada and I would love to go to France actually. Uh, my daughter is desperate to go to Disneyland Paris and I would love just to do the touristy things in France. Maybe stay in a hotel with a, um, a view of the Eiffel Tower. We also want to do an American road trip which we are currently trying to plan, um, hopefully for in the future, maybe 2026 maybe. Um, so we'd love to do an American road trip. We have been to America a few times now. We went to Walt Disney World, which you will see on here, uh, for our honeymoon because we do everything with the kids. We would never not take the kids on holiday, so we asked them where they wanted to go. And they said Walt Disney World, so we saved super, super hard for it. And the pandemic hit, so we never actually made it in that time. So we got our money back, thankfully. And we squirreled it away. And we finally made it there in 2022. Um, and we will be returning this year, which we cannot wait for. I'll give you the details of that close to the time. We've also got a Centre Parks break booked this year, which will be amazing. The Sherwood Centre Parks is literally just down the road. And my kids, we've not been there for quite a few years, actually. Um, my kids have been wanting to go for ages. So we booked it as their Christmas present. So we're going there later on this year. So yeah, I would definitely take you with us on those trips if that's what you want to see. And yeah, that is my destination bucket list. So the next one is what did you do before you had kids? So I had quite a few office jobs. Um, I did admin and I worked for British Telecom for quite a few years and um, I also worked in a call centre. So it was very admin -y. it was very much fulfilling orders or answering um, calls within BT. So yeah, it was very admin -y based and office jobs before this. So randomly, my favourite colour, my favourite colours are pink and yellow. I like the bright colours. No, I'm not really that bright but it is winter but I do love the bright spring like colours. Spring is my absolute favourite season um, so yeah pink and yellow are definitely my favourite. So the next one is what does your husband and your children think to you being on YouTube? Now my husband is so supportive he basically supports whatever I want to do you know he's so easy going um, we've got a lot of trust and we're just you know, always pushing each other on. So he knows that I love doing this. So it's very supportive and basically I can get him to hold the camera or he's happy to help me wherever I want him to. Or maybe if he's doing something with the kids, I will whip out my phone or my camera and upload it to Instagram. And um, he doesn't mind, he doesn't mind. He's absolutely 100% behind me, which is lovely. Um, my kids, I don't really think they take much notice to be honest. Um, they love watching YouTube, they've watched YouTube for years, hence why I finally started a channel on here because we have been watching it for years. But yeah, they're happy, um, they like to watch some of the old um, videos back, some of the Disney ones particularly. Um, but to be quite honest, I think they take it or leave it, I don't know. So, you know, while they're okay with it, I'm okay with it. The point at which, obviously, if they ever said to me, you know, I'm not happy with it, I don't want to be in any of your videos, that would be absolutely fine. I respect their wishes and I would never never put them, I would never do a video if they didn't want me to put it out and they was in it. So, yeah, all in all, we're pretty happy about it. So the next one is the most amazing gift you've ever received and it has got to be, hands down, my KitchenAid. My husband bought it for me a couple of years ago now, just after we finished the extension, and I've got a pink island, which you may have seen in some of my videos, and I've got blue cupboards, um, and he bought me a pink KitchenAid, and I absolutely love it. And to be quite honest, we all use it as a family to do baking and dinners, and also, if you have one, you've never mashed your potatoes in a KitchenAid, you are missing a treat, because it's amazing. So yeah, it's absolutely hands down my KitchenAid. I wouldn't be without it. It absolutely makes baking and cooking so much easier. I know they are a bit spenny, they're a bit pricey. However, for me, they're just so worth it. And also the quality is actually amazing. So obviously, I know it's really, it is, it's got a steep price tag. And to be quite honest, I would have never bought myself one. So I don't know how my husband actually parted with that money. <laughs> But he did, uh, and I'm really, really grateful that he did. So, with hands down, my most amazing gift is my KitchenAid. So, the next one is the silliest 
way you have injured yourself and I'm, I am so clumsy, I'll tell you that now. I am like probably one of the clumsiest people. But this was when me and my husband lived at my mum's um, when we was really young. We'd, we'd, not, we'd not been together all that long. And I was getting the dogs in from the back garden because we've got two dogs then. Um, I think one of them got something in their mouth and I was chasing them. And to get into my, it was the back of the house, and to get into my mum's kitchen, she'd got a step. So I was running along and I tripped up the step. I went absolutely flying, I like flew through the room, and then I landed with my head down the side of the fridge. So yeah, that was not gracious in the slightest and yeah i'm just i'm always I'm always doing something i am really really clumsy and if somebody was to give me um one of their most precious glasses to drink out of or they've got a special plate or i'll drop it please don't please don't give me your precious things to use or to look after because i will break it i don't mean to i think it's just nerves nerves like get the better of me and um, yeah, I'm a little bit clumsy, so that's, that's my answer to that one. So the last question is, what are your hobbies? Now, my main hobby is singing. I absolutely love to sing. I always wanted to be a singer, but truth be told, I am far too much of an introvert. I know I do this, but obviously this is something, this is just me talking to a camera and, you know, there's not anybody else around usually, but I'm a massive introvert. And I feel like that always held me back, so it just was not meant to be, but I love singing. Um, I love dancing, so I go to fitness classes, which is dance-based. And another one is theme parks. I absolutely love going to theme parks with my kids. Um, so this year we're heading back to Disney as I said so I actually can't wait to get on some of the rides I'm looking forward to riding some of the new ones in Disney um, I'm a little bit sad that we're not going back to Bush Gardens and SeaWorld this year because we loved riding Iguazi and the big ones um, but there is Tron now at Disney World so I'm quite looking forward to doing that so yeah theme parks love theme parks hopefully we're gonna get the Drayton Manor annual passes this year as well uh, because we tend to do that each year because I find actually it saves us quite a bit of money on a weekend if you're obviously stuck for anything to do you you know you might find that you're spending money to take the kids trampoline in or you go into soft play or anything like that so we decided quite a few years ago that each year we would spend our Christmas money on annual passes for a theme park so we did Merlin last year and I think the year before that and this year we're gonna head back to Drayton, which is not too far from us actually. And I think some new attractions are gonna be available this year, so that'll be quite exciting. So yeah, I'll try and film some of those and put them on the channel if that's something that you want to see. So that's all of my questions answered. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel like you know me a little bit better now. Uh, please give it a like and consider subscribing as I would love to have you stick around. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.